the law of diminishing returns is also a part of the first step in that um, for me to admit that in my addiction that the more that I used, the more tolerant I became and the less that the alcohol and drugs had an effect on me that was my desired effect and so I had to use more in order to get the same effect that I did when I started and um, that's how addiction happens is, is that you keep chasing that first, I kept chasing that first feeling that I had and wanted to drink enough that I would feel the way that I wanted to feel and that meant I had to drink more and more every time and um, so law of diminishing returns is any habitual behavior that interferes with your ability to function at your best quality of life while rewards fade and your obsession grows. So it's as if you're on one of the walking sidewalks and you're supposed to enter from this side but you come in from the other side. If you just walk at a normal pace, you're not going to actually move forward at all. You have to run in order to make any progress. So um, again, it's very important in understanding that you're powerless and your life has become unmanageable that you also understand the law of diminishing returns and what addiction really is. That, um, again, it's that, you know, chasing the feeling that you used to get with, you know, two or three or four drinks that might take you eight or ten drinks to get there, you know, somewhere down the road. And that that amount of use is also causing you a whole lot of other problems in your life. So.